You ready? I'm ready to go. <laughs> Happy Saturday, everybody. Hope you've all had, um, sorry, had a really good week and have stayed safe. Um, bit of a quieter weekend this weekend. Erin and Liam are at their dad's. Alex and Ollie are here until um, tea time. Uh, so, yes, a lot of it will just be me and yeah. Lucky them. Unfortunate for you guys, that is. <laughs> So we are going to go out on a, a bit of a walk now and do some of the Wales Coast Paths. So we will take the camera with us and take some pics so you can see those. Uh, we will definitely do some form of mince pie Christmas food tasting. To take a bit of Mr. Ian and Mr. David, steal their thunder yeah. for a little bit. And uh, yeah, just see what the weekend holds. So we will see you in a bit. Teddy bye. Bye. Apologies, um, well not really apologies, yesterday was a very very quiet day so we didn't really do anything, uh, we went for our walk, obviously you saw some of the shots from that, um, we sat and watched some Christmas movies, we did After Christmas which is one of my favourites in this house um, and then really sort of chilled out for the rest of the evening, watched um, some of the old Mr David and Mr Ian vlogs to get us back in the Disney mood for August and that was about it, so yes it is Sunday morning, um, Chris is upstairs sorting out Erin's LED lights that she had for her birthday. Um, and we have just had our weekly HelloFresh delivery. So I thought I'd talk you through it, just in case nobody's ever done or you haven't done um, HelloFresh. We've done it now for about two months um, and really, really like it. It worked really easily. We liked the menu choices. Um, when it first arrived, we were really nervous about the portion sizes, but we have found that actually those portion sizes are absolutely fine um and we've also found that our food wastage has gone down massively because you get exactly what you're going to get so let me show you so it comes in a big cardboard box like this you can choose i think i mean i'm no expert but you can get between five and six meals a week and then um you can do it for two three four people at the moment we just do it for the two of us um, but sometimes um, it'll end up Erin and I having it, or me and Chris, depending on how it is. You get your recipe cards in that. So this one is teriyaki beef. So you get the actual um, card. You get what you get in the bag. And then on the back, you get your actual recipes, if I can focus that slightly. So you get each one of each of those. On the card then, you get a number at the top. So this is number two. So every card corresponds to a bag and you get a bag of everything basically so we find number two here we go so this is number two um and inside there for teriyaki beef I'll open that you get your carrot your cucumber your spring onion you get your portion of rice sorted out you get some white sesame seeds and then you get your sauce as well and you get your ginger and a lime so everything you need for two people obviously you've got four people it's portion sized up um comes in the bag then also so you get your recipe card at your bag of food and then you also get a big um get all these out can't get it out you then also get your sort of fridge stuff as well then in a really nice Sort of sealed bag that comes with ice packs in it and in there you then get all your meat and sort of fridge stuff so you've got chicken um we've got a pasta chorizo one this week so again it's portioned out um chicken we've got mince now if you're looking at portion sizes this for two people you get 240 grams it looks tiny compared normally i would have bought 500 grams 
um, worth of mints for two of us and being absolutely stuffed and probably not eating it all, so throwing it away. So it just really helps for me with portion control um, and has helped with me <laughs> desperately trying to lose weight through lockdown. So yes, you get all of that in there. So price-wise, I think for five meals for the two of us, it's about £45. And then if you add another meal on, it's about £49. Um, they have always got deals on, so I know I've sent some of my friends £20 off, get a free box. Um, when we first started doing it, I think we had 50% off the first box, and then it was something like 25% off for the next three weeks and things like that. So, But for us, it really works. It's really helpful. I'm a bit of a planner anyway, so I know exactly what we're going to have every night of the week. Um, Sometimes we'll do six, sometimes we'll do five, depending on the menu choices that they offer you that week. I don't ever pay really for the upgraded meals. I think there's enough there. And like yesterday, we only had five meals last week. So last night, um, we had steak with jacket potatoes and salad and stuff. So I don't feel the need to pay for the upgraded meals, which are like, I think they start between like £1.50 and £3 per person, because I think that can start to sort of add up then. Um, but yeah, for us, it really, really works. So um, I will leave a link to the website below um, in the description. And yeah, if you fancy it, give it a go. There's loads of them out there. I think there's Gusto. Um, there's obviously HelloFresh. There's a few different ones, I think. So, um, and I know some of my friends have tried different ones and certain ones. We looked at Gusto, but I didn't feel the meals worked as well. Um, didn't like them as much. So, so yes, that's it. So plan for this afternoon. We're going to go up the attic. So that's some of the Christmas presents. Um, so Chris is sorting out Erin's LED lights. A um, bit of washing. Very, you know, boring life stuff. Um, so yes, yeah, so we'll catch up with you in a bit. Bye. Welcome back. No, to I didn't like that one. Didn't like that one. Which one? Go on, go. Yeah. You're ready. Welcome back to Mince Pie Tasting with Robin and Chris. Hi. Afternoon. <laughs> So we are going to, we've got some mince pies to try, but we've also thrown a cheeky chocolate biscuit as well to try, um, all around the festive theme. Um, so um, we'll just dive straight in, shall we? Let's crack on. Do you want small or large? Oh, <laughs> small. <laughs> Let's go start with small, shall we? So our first uh, little selection this evening is um, Tesco Finest, no doubt, nine mini festive tarts. Tarts, there we go. So you get three of each, so we've got... Um, Mini, clearly this is not rehearsed. Mini all butter pastry cases filled with minced meat infused with, I can never say this, Cavorsier cognac, brandy and port topped with lattice lid. Then you've got one with a spiced rum mince meat with a pastry tree. And then we've got another one that's filled with rhubarb and ginger with a cinnamon crumble. So what should we start with, my friend? Oh, just let's go random. Let's go Christmas tree. Let's go Christmas tree. So this is this one. We have uh, washed hands, so we are COVID friendly. So this is, well, there's two of each, don't panic. No, no, no. Because no. they're little. So mini all butter pastry case filled with spiced rum meat, minced meat topped with a pastry. There we go. I just thought we, we are socially distanced with anybody that's watching this anyway. So you're COVID friendly that you've mentioned again. There's okay. No need, is there? Okay. No need. Christmas Ready. tree. Let's go. What's in this one? Oh, so you weren't listening to me. Uh, right. Not at all. Mm. There's a nom nom. Mm. We should edit out the bit that you're nom in for. No. Thoughts? I don't think small ones ever work. Mm. There's too much pastry to fill in. I um, think the pastry is quite bland. Yeah, it's not the best. The minced meat is okay. I don't think I'm going to even bother to finish that. Oh, dear, dear. To be fair. Sorry, Tesco's. Mm. No, I found the pastry is just very bland. Next, I think we should go the cinnamon crumble. Now, this is the rhubarb and ginger filling rather than sort of traditional. Um, I feel like we should have some sort of palate cleanser in between. It's a squash that yeah. was there. Mm. Mm. Oh, well, smell the ginger. <laughs> <laughs> smell the ginger. Sorry gin about that. <laughs> smell the ginger. Wow. Mm quite nice there's a little change in a box yeah it's a, a jam tarty type thing that mm. i enjoy that right the whole thing so did i but mm. more that i'm having any lunch well i had popcorn for lunch so mm. i had salad being good for being miscontinuing because i had a whole ball bag of butter kissed okay let's finish these off um 
And this one is mini all butter pastry case will be minced meat infused with cognac, brandy and port with a lattice lid. Oh, I love a lattice lid. I enjoy a lattice lid. Let's give it a go. A lattice lid. The fact we choose a lid, a lattice would be the second would it, one. Your lid of choice. My second one. Hmm. Mm. Almondy. Very similar to the first one. Mm. Not much difference is there. Mm. Pastry a bit, a bit flavourless again. So, in time honoured ordinary adventures uh, style, what are we giving? Out of five, I thought like a two. Mm. Nice, maybe if you drank coffee on the side of a yeah. coffee after a meal, but no. Not as a proper mince pie, so we'll no. give those. No, not not so great. So we'll go. Do you want to go big mince pie next or biscuit? Let's go biscuit because mix it up a bit. I like the flavours. Mm. So our biscuit. <laughs> I've clearly already had some of these. <laughs> I have not had any. Because I tell you for why. They're only 73 calories a biscuit, so if you're calorie counting, these are pretty good, to be fair. So these are McVitie's Digestive's Christmas Pudding Flavour. I like them already. We'll see what Chris likes. We both enjoy Christmas pudding. Mmm, <clears throat> tasty. Can't smell Chris Pudding. Mmm. I like them. I think they're nice with the coffee in the afternoon or in the morning. I don't really taste Christmas pudding. Do you not? I don't. Hmm. Disappointing. I like them. Nothing stands out. It's just a slightly different chocolate digestive. It's a bit of like a spice in it. Don't you think? In it. <laughs> yeah. yeah? Hmm? No, not really. What, should, what about five are you giving that? Two and a half? Two. Oh, I think it's better than the mini mince pies. For me. No, it's a biscuit, it's a different thing, so it's on a different, it's on a different scale. Oh, we'll go biscuits next week then. Yeah. Okie dokie. Here we go. And then finally. Edible, but not blowing um, me away with Christmas need, Christmas to eat. Oh dear, I feel like this week is not as good as last week, but anyway. Um, finally, we have Aldi's specially selected all butter classic mince pies bursting with beautiful ingredients. Under every snow dusted lid, you'll find Turkish sultanas, currants, plump raisins, and tangy cranberries, along with festive spices, clementine juice, and a dash of brandy and cognac. No less. Let me slice this. This is the last one of the box. No, it isn't. Or is it not? No. So we have oh, tried we... these, but we'll let you oh, see. Oh, some. Yeah. Nice mince pie. Oh, listen to that cut. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> we'll show you inside. It's not a bad little filling. It's not to the top though, is it? It's not to the top, no. There's an there's a air gap. There is an air gap. But I think you maybe need an air gap in a pie. I'm not sure. I don't think I've had one of these. It might be all be consumed by you. How many have gone? How many have gone? Four. No. Yes. You stopped chewing, are you okay? I was listening to YouTube. <laughs> um, mm. Normal mince pie. Yeah. And do you want to bit? I think a steady three. But it's not blowing middle my mind. Middle of the road, two and a half, I'd go. Would you? Middle of the road. Well, it's not middle of the road then. Oh, I suppose it is out of five, isn't it? <laughs> There you go. That's why it took me three goes yeah, past yeah. you, Sessie Matt. There's you again. <laughs> <laughs> three is 50% of five, well then you. Mm. Yeah, no, it's, it's okay, but mm. nothing special. Quite a poor Christmassy plate there. Well, well. It was, but hey, we're trying them, so you don't have to. You can just go with our top <laughs> recommendations. Order. Order the homemade ones from um, Domain Artisan. Yes. Or go for the Aldi, as we said last week, specially selected tarts. They're in store now. Pop into Aldi tomorrow. Might pick up some more so we can try them for you next week out of the kindness of our hearts. Because we're good like that. 
We are. Right. Chris is off to watch the football. I'll probably do some more online browsing. I just try to do online browsing. So I was on boots. Three for two. <laughs> 45 minutes later, I had three things in my basket, all under the banner of three for two. We had two of them were three for two, and the other one was a slightly different three for two, so the disc didn't come off. So I just shut the laptop. That's just Seen annoying after 45 minutes. Mm. Chris wasn't happy about that. Not happy at all. On a different Boots. note. Boots. Hey, no, check your three for twos. Mm. Frustrating. That's my Sunday afternoon. Rant. <laughs> That's us done, isn't it? That's us done. Happy times. We'll see you in a bit. Bye. Bye. Hi, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Wait, so, are you reading the bedtime story again? <laughs> sorry, I just had a text pop up. The text messages for schools. I've gone crazy today with COVID and all the rest of it and stuff. So, yeah. So, uh, what? Uh, yes. Chris? <laughs> completely lost my train of thought on what we're doing. Same Hello, bye. happy Saturday. <laughs> it's not, it's Sunday. Um, thanks happy, so much for watching. Happy New Year. <laughs> it's been a bit of a shorter one this week. Obviously we've got no children, so life tends to be a bit quieter and a bit more relaxed, which is nice at times. And DIY as well. And DIY, and yes, boring. which is very, very mundane. Even I don't pay attention to it. So um, thanks for watching. I hope I'm gonna get this right now. Please subscribe on YouTube, follow us on Instagram, give this video a thumbs up, like it. Um, next Saturday's, well, this will come out, won't it, next Saturday, which is the 12th. So we'll have another one before Christmas, won't we? That's correct. That is correct. Oh, my <laughs> another mathematical uh, genius comment there. So, yeah, so we will see you next Sunday, Saturday. <laughs> I think you should have done this. Ah. This will be re-recorded. <laughs> Stay safe. I hope you all have a great week and we will see you next Saturday. Take care. Bye. Take care everyone. Bye. Bye.